Second half of play, Coach, NCAA tournament. Doesn't get much bigger than this. Who's going to fight to ensure that they move on to the next round? The answer, just a moment. You know what I think is really impressive here tonight, Gus? Is the fact that both of these clubs are focused on each possession. A level of concentration is where you'd expect it to be during the tournament. Sideline inbound. First personal foul. He'll throw it in from the side. They work the perimeter. He lets it go. You bet. The fans are making a difference, Rap. This is a tough place to play. Tough it inside. Do they need a timeout here, Rack? Gus, they definitely need a timeout. They've lost their composure. On the outside. In the lane. He can't get it to go. And he looks to outlet. On the right side. Second team foul. Up. Counted and the foul. Obviously too aggressive here defensively. You've really got to know your limitations, Gus. Here we have a look at one of the sophomores for this team. Plus, he's been through the first year. It's going to be exciting to see how much he learned as a freshman. His team definitely expects more from him this season. On the left side. Loose ball kept in. And will head back down to the other end. Baseline inbound. Cross court. He fires away. Bear. This guy is a complete player in the post. The big fella can face you up, play back to the basket. He's a good rebounder and solid on that defensive end. Three minutes left on the game clock. Heat check time from long range. Shots off. Put a little English on it. Looking for a good shot. Perfect. Shots off. What a rebound. It's mine. Out on the left wing. Jump shot. How about that? Oh, I love seeing that, Gus. A player step up and hit that big range jumper. A great trap initiated by the defense. Off the mark with the shot. On the left side. Two minutes left on the game clock. Top of the key. First half was pretty good. Thought the shot selection by both teams was good, but now it seems as though things have gone in the other direction. The difference in play from the first half to now is night and day. What a change. They seemingly abandoned everything that worked in their favor in the first half. It's going to take something drastic for them to get back into this one. On the outside. In the lane. No. I own it. We are at the one minute mark. 
He gets it to fall. Pushes it. He can finish. He can't get the hoop to fall. On the left side. Fires. Shots off. Nice rebound. Jump shot. It won't fall. Coleman with the ball. Fires. He gets that one to fall. Flower has the ability to get to the rim. A great ability to get into the lane. Not afraid of the contact. Just a tough customer, Gus. Backcourt violation call. Let's get another look at the layup. You've got to make these inside ones, Gus. They're high percentage shots. They just got to be completed. Now they work it around the perimeter. He fires from long range. He can't get the bucket to fall. Now they really have to foul in order to stop the clock, Gus. Well, Bill, sometimes statistics lie, but in NCAA tournament basketball, I don't think they do. The better team won, and they're going on. Well, when you take a close look at this victory, it came down to execution. We say it all the time, but these guys did a terrific job of getting stops at the defensive end and scores at the offensive end. All right, that's a wrap for my partner, Bill Raftery. I'm Gus Johnson saying good night.